Hi, today we will be looking into the PSC18 app which is developed by Microchip. In this tutorial, we will be talking about the software, hardware, and also we will look, be looking into the I.O. port, means the input-output port, to, and how we program it. The LED will be used as the output indicator, and the button will be used as the input indicator. First of all, to program a PSC18 app, we will be need a software to write the program and burn the program to the microcontroller. This is for the PSC18F, we will be using the MATLAB XID. Actually, the MATLAB XID will support all of the microcontroller that produced by them. So, this is the MATLAB XIDE website, and we can download the MPLAB X here at the download bar. And now the version has gone up to version 3.05. And after that, we will go to the compiler that I have opened here. For the PIC18F that I will be using, we will be using a compiler of XC8. And they have XC16 and XC32. I think it's for the PSPIC and 32-bit PIC for these two. But for today, since we are going to use the PIC18 and I just I only will be using the PIC. We will be using. We will be just using the XC8. To program a PIC 18F today. To program a PIC18F, we will be using a PIC18F microcontroller, means that the PIC18F microchip, and using the SK40C, which is produced by Cytron, to run the PIC18F. A battery pack, a battery pack to power the PIC18F. To program a PIC18F, we will be using a PIC18F. To do this project, we will be using a PIC18F microcontroller, SK40C, to run the PIC18F, which is produced by the Cytron Technologies, and we also will be using a two batteries to power up the PIC18F, a programmer PSD Kit 3. But today we are not using, not going to use this because we have a, another programmer is the PIC Kit 2, which is compatible with the SK40C and we will be using that to program the PIC. It After installing the MPLAB X, this is my MPLAB X that I have installed. Maybe the latest version has a bit of difference here and there, but all is almost the same. First of all, we will start to create a new project. So we will create a standalone project. And we will have to choose the PIC that we are using. We are using a PIC 18F for all for today. We will press next. Um, we will be using a PIC kit tool. Let me connect my PIC kit tool. Okay, let me connect the PIC kit tool. And the PIC kit tool will be popping up here. And we will be choosing, we will be using a PIC kit tool. If you connect a PIC kit tree, something will pop here. Or if you want to try on the program, you can use the simulator. But I will just directly choose a PIC kit tool. And I will be using the XC8. After you install XC8, please stick everything and the XC8 compiler will automatic pop up here. Choose the XC8. Next, write your project name. We are using project IO because we will be using the IO. We will be doing the IO project. Set as the main project and press finish. And the pro MATLAB X will automatic set up a project here. After that, we will be create a new source file to and maybe version 1 IO version 1 will be using also IO version 1 and this is this is the part where we used to write the program and I will show you all of the program that I have written for the IO. okay this is the program that I have written first of all we have to include the PIC 18F header and we have also to set the setting this is fixed 
every time you start with the DIC18, you have to write these few lines to go on it. So to program the PS18F, we will be starting our main program here, the trees. The trees actually is to set the command for the input output port. If we set, we have, I think, if not mistaken, the PS18F have port A, port B, port C, port D, and port E. So you have to look through the data sheet for that. This is the data sheet, and we will have. We can look through the pin that PSC18 has for the PSC I have used is the 4580 version. This is the rough picture of the PSC18 and 4580. Port A here, port B is around here, port C, port D. Something this is the pin that it allocated at. So we will be using 3SP and 3C means that if we put 0xff means means that we will set everything to input this, uh, this is for the binary is I think is all is 1 and this will be all is 0 means that this part will be setting all the port speed into input and we will be setting all the port speed into output okay so while port B is zero means that I'm using a port B zero as an input pin, and it will be I will be design using the active flow design. I will be showing the schematic of active flow later on. And after I have pressed the button, the LED will be turned on, on, and it will be keep looping here until I release the button, and this one will switch off the LED. After you have completing writing your own program, to start burn the program, first we have to check to see whether the program is correct or not. We can see that the IDE has already started to compile the projects. Okay, we can just ignore the warning, but you can't ignore the error. We can see that the programmer is blinking, means that the program has started to burn into the PS18F. And after it stops blinking, we will be able to start the pin. And I have pushed the button and the LED has light on. And I have, if I release it, the LED indicator will just be off. And this is what we can do using a input output port. We can play with the LCD, design our pattern, and do anything we like using the I.O. to control the LED. You can see that the various patterns that I have tried to program and you can try your own after you have mastered on how to program.